Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Twilight Masquerade deck video. Feels good to finally say that, of course, the brand new set Twilight Masquerade is finally out on Pokemon TCG Live, and I cannot wait to get into the content. And the first deck I really wanted to try out was actually going to be Greninja EX. I am a big fan of Greninja. I think it has a lot of potential within our new format due to how versatile it actually is. And this deck is all about using some pretty crazy combos because you basically have like a mini starbirth every single turn with greninja's main attack shinobi blade that for one water energy does 170 damage and you may search your deck for any card you want and put it into your hand so if your opponent does not iono you you have an extra card in your hand going into your turn and that really can dictate how you play out your turn especially if you know you're playing as a deck without many ionos and this is what i've decided to cook up for today's video for the first twilight masquerade deck now before we do get the video if y'all want to leave a like on the video show your support on the content it would be greatly appreciated today's like goal for the first twilight masquerade video is going to be 500 likes y'all killed the like goals on the uh, temporal forces content and all that good stuff so i do appreciate all the support once again and if y'all are excited for the daily twilight masquerade content grind i'm talking streams videos make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet so yeah here is the list i've decided to play it is a pidgeot build pidgeot greninja is a deck that did pretty good in Japan. I did base this list off of some winning lists I saw from City Leagues in Japan, but Pidgeot is fantastic with Greninja. Well, Greninja is getting you every card you want out of your deck every turn, you also have Pidgeot, which can do the exact same thing. And this does let you pull off some really big combos, especially with Greninja's second attack, Mirage Barrage, one of the best attack names in the world, allowing you to, for a water and a double colorless energy, discard it two energy from this Pokemon, and it does 120 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. So you can actually discard the double turbo energy that you're going to attach to the Greninja. You can snipe Pokemon for 120. Now, of course, your opponent might bench a Manaphy, and then they'll block Greninja from sniping. But because you're using Shinobi Blade and Pidgeot, you can easily pull off the Canceling Cologne Gust play. So we are playing the Canceling Cologne, which, of course, if you put Manaphy into the active spot, play the Canceling Cologne, you do shut off Manaphy's ability, which then allows you to use Mirage Barrage to snipe two Pokemon of your choice if the Manaphy is in play. So we are playing the Canceling Cologne alongside the Pidgeot. So when we're doing Shinobi Blade and Pidgeot, it's very easy to threaten a potential super fast Greninja. We got Counter Catcher to help us get there. We got Boss's Order. Now, I'm not playing Prime Catcher in the deck. I'm actually opting for the brand new Unfair Stamp Ace spec because if we can pull off that Snipe combo where we can cripple our opponent's board with Greninja, we can also Unfair Stamp them in the same turn. Basically, put their hand down to two while you destroy their board. Definitely feels like you could do a lot of damage to your opponent if you can pull that off with Unfair Stamp because when something gets knocked out, you can force your opponent to shuffle their hand of the deck. They draw five. Uh, you draw five, sorry, and your opponent draws two cards, so you really can hurt your opponent. Now, before we do get the video show, too, the sponsor card, Kevin TCG. Of course, if you're looking to get any Pokemon TCG Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern's code line for the cheapest. So, if you're looking for any set like the main set Twilight Masquerade, if you're going to be picking up any Twilight Masquerade codes, make sure to get them over at Card Cavern. Of course, if you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So, big shout out to Card Cavern. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, make sure you go check out my second YouTube channel down below. I got some extra content over there, too. My most recent video, I looked at 12 new Twilight Masquerade decks. So if you're looking to build a a deck with the new set definitely check out the second channel's recent video so yeah here is the full deck list view for the deck like i said i did base this off of some lists i saw over in japan when building this deck greninja pidgeot was seeing some success within japan so i thought i would base the list off of what i saw in japan um it is modeled very similarly to charizard because we have the pidgeot and we have greninja it's like the same thing you're playing a stage two with Pidgeot, you might as well model it off of Charizard. We do have the Rodom, the Fish, the Forest Seal Stone, and whatnot in the deck. Um, but some other interesting cards you might notice in the deck. We are playing the Bear. We got the brand new Blood Mirror Saluna, arguably one of the best new cards in the set. It has a very good ability. It's literally Radiant Charizard on an EX Pokemon. It's got that same ability where its attack Blood Moon can be used for each. Well, it costs one color slot for each prize your opponent's already taken. So if your opponent takes three prizes this attack can be used for two energy which you can use a double turbo or you can use it at the end of the game and your opponent takes four prizes essentially greninja's damage output is not very strong right it doesn't do a whole lot of damage it's only doing 170 damage a turn well that is a you know decent bit of damage you're still two shine stuff you're not one shot in a lot of stuff so that late game blood moon or saluna attack 
could be really valuable, which is why we are playing the Ursa Luna. It just gives us a little bit of extra damage with this deck. Another thing I want to note about Greninja, there's a lot of Pokemon right now that are weak to fighting and that might be seeing some play. We got Maridon, which won the Champions League in Japan, so definitely Maridon might come back into the format. You got Arceus V-Star, and there's even the new Blissey EX. They're all weak to fighting. Any deck that's weak to fighting, Greninja just bodies if you get to set up. The one thing I'll say about Greninja, you're probably just going to lose to Gardevoir. I mean, yes, you do have the Snipe plays, but Gardevoir is going to be a bad matchup. You have to accept that Guardi is going to be a tricky one due to Greninja's weakest to Psychic, so that's one thing you gotta keep in mind. Um, but I'm excited to show off the power of Greninja EX in today's video, show off how many combos we can pull off with Pidgeot Greninja, and let's see what we can do with today's deck. All right, let's get into this game with Greninja. We open up with, okay, all right, not bad, actually, going first. We got Froakie Energy Rare Candy Greninja. We actually have a Nest Ball, which can get us either Rotom or another Froakie. We'll see what the matchup is first, so that'll help us decide what the best play is here. There's an iron and leaves. Ooh. Hmm. This could be one of two decks. Arc or could be something else. Getting Froki feels like it's correct. This is like Lost Box. We could get turn one crammed. Could be Maride at Future Box. Yeah, I'm just going to grab a Froki. I'm going to play it safe. Because we have Hurricane and Greninja in hand. I guess I could have Ultra Ball for Rotom there too. But to be honest, I mean, we have Arvin. We could just go Arvin, Hurricane, and Greninja and just set up our board a little bit. Like, I'm chilling. Don't really think I need to do much. And yep, there's an Ogre Pond. It is possible for my opponent to attack on the first turn. So very happy that I decided to get a second Froki and didn't want to get too greedy and grab a Rotom. I don't know. I maybe could have Ultra Ball. But I mean, this hand is really good. I don't really see a reason to Ultra Ball for Rotom. Because like we already have everything in the hand we need. Ooh, but there's an Iono. That is pretty annoying. I am losing my Rare Candy Greninja, Arvin, and Energy combo. Maybe should have attached the Energy, actually. Uh, we still got the Arvin. Wow, bug catching set for double Ogre Pond. That's a little scary. They have another bug catch. What? And it gets two energy? Oh, my goodness. That's actually kind of crazy. That's a pretty good turn. Oh, my gosh. That is actually crazy. Double bug catching set into the two cards perfectly needed. Damn. That's scary. I mean, we'll see if they can attack here. They opened Iron Leaves, which is actually low-key kind of good. They can't just come in with an Iron Leaves this turn and destroy me unless they have another one in their hand. Okay, great. That's not good. That That's not great. I do have Rare Kenny Greninja, though. Now I'm wishing I got Rotom because I could have grabbed Force Seal. I didn't expect to get Iono, though. I also didn't know what I was playing against, right? You see an Iron Leaves. I don't know. I wasn't expecting an Iono. My opponent's got all the bravery charms. All right, rip Froki, dude. That's not fun, bro. Not the turn one donk. I mean, they kind of just drew the nuts off the Iono. Like, the double bug catching set into the energy double ogre pawn is kind of crazy. All right, so Arvin for... I only have one Ultra Ball in the deck. Wow, I didn't even... That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Good thing I grabbed... Uh... Good thing I grabbed the... Um... My Ultra Ball in a way. I don't want to get rid of Vacuum. It's probably fine to get rid of Vacuum. Yeah, I don't think we need it. Sure. Yeah, good thing I didn't grab Rodom there. We only had the one thing in the deck. I didn't even realize. That is kind of crazy. Only one Ultra Ball. It's kind of ridiculous. We probably three Ultra Balls. Go figure. We can probably just Greninja for an Iono here. Seems good to me. Shinobi Blade for an Iono. Are they playing Weird Ears? The question. What are the odds they can knock me out? We'll find out. Yeah, I think it's correct to grab Iono. I could grab Rotom. No, nah, I don't think I ever want to match Rotom. Could get Luminion, because then we can go Iono, Force Seal. That actually might have been better maybe to grab Luminion there, because then we can go Force Seal and Iono. Yeah, it might have been better. I don't know what my opponent's playing exactly, though. Like, I don't know what's in their deck. All I know is they have Ogre Pawn and Iron Leaves. They might be playing Weirdier. That's, like, the one thing I'm scared of is Weirdier, because they can come in with a Weirdier and wreck me here, potentially. And then I'm forced to find another Rare Candy Greninja, which I might not be able to do. This is why I maybe should have grabbed Luminion with that. I think I should have grabbed Luminion with that instead of the Iono. Because I need to be able to attack next turn, most likely, if they knock me out. Should have played it safe. But what are the odds they knock me out? Because I also don't know what I'm even playing against. I have no idea what this is. Judge. Well, there's that hand disruption. All right, well, there goes our card. We're getting some new cards, though. That's not a bad hand. Assuming we don't get knocked out here, we can can chill. This hand's, like, fine if they don't get a knockout this turn. They only got four cards anyways themselves. Like, what are the odds they even get into a combo to knock out my Greninja? We can get double turbo. 
If I draw double turbo here, we can go double turbo Mirage Barrage. <laughs> what a dumb name, Mirage Barrage. Ooh, but they're going to go into another Leaves. All right, so they're just chaining Iron Leaves. But this thing doesn't KO me, right? We're weak to Psychic, not Grass. It's not, we're not, we're not a Water type. So thankfully, we're not the other Greninja that would be weak to Grass or Lightning. But it's all good. Catcher, wait, what? They're playing that too? Not Heads, dude. Not like that. No, my Froakie, bro. What? How dare you? That's annoying. Bro does not want me to evolve. To be honest, they're not hitting my Greninja. And if they're not playing something like Weird Ear, this is actually fine. They can't even bench anything currently. Unless their hand is literally Turo Weird Ear. I, nah, dude. I, I'm calling Cap. Let's we'll see what our top deck is. Arvin again. Okay, so... Hmm, what's the play? We definitely attack this turn. I think I'm just going to Irida and set my board up a little bit. I'm just going to play the Super Rod here. And then I'm going to Irida for Froki plus Buddy Buddy Poffin. I could go Unfair Stamp, too. We can Arvin next turn if they... Yeah, I'll, I'll save the Unfair Stamp play for later. I don't think we need to do it just yet. We'll just Buddy Poffin for Pidgey and Froki. Then we'll just Shinobi Blade. I can get DT here. Could also get Rare Candy to go Pidgey off. That might be better. I could get DT, though, because the next turn we can knock out two Iron Leaves, which is kind of sick, actually. Kind of like that. They are playing Hand Disruption, but I doubt they're playing more than, like, I don't know. Like, what do they actually play more? Judge. Kind of down for DT. Because I can Arvin. I could just get Pidgeot and then do DT. It's probably better to set Pidgeot, actually. Okay, we should probably get Pidgeot then. No, we should definitely get the Pidgeot. Because we can use Pidgeot to get DT. It's probably better. Yeah, we definitely need to get Pidgeot. So I'm going to get Pidgeot instead. It's fine. Unless I hand disrupt me again, then it's not so fine. But we should be able to do something off of a hand disruption. I mean, we've played one candy. No hand disruption. Sick. They lose a rod. That's good. Yeah, because I want to knock sure I want to knock out two leaves. That's pretty good. I I mean, I don't have to. I have counter catcher. We can like we can go after the ogre ponds. We can like hit ogre pond for one. If they're not knocking me out in one hit. Oh, another catcher, bro. What are they flipping this time? Thankfully, Tails. I don't want my Pidgey to die. But yeah, we could, like, counter catcher an Ogre Pond, smack it with Greninja, and then, like, snipe the Ogre Ponds with Greninja. Shut off their engine. That's not bad either. I don't know. We have we have a few lines. Honestly, it's probably better to just go Greninja here, because then we can just win the game with Ursaluna. It's probably the better play, actually. Yeah, we'll just Greninja, knock out the two guys, and then just Ursaluna for game at some point. That seems probably the way to go. Yeah, I think that's actually our route to winning here. If they were to have flipped heads on Catcher, probably would have went Arvin for Unfair Stamp. But I need that DT, though. So I could have got, like, Rodom, but I don't want to bench Rodom. I don't know if they have Iron Crown or Future Booster Capsule. I don't know if they're doing more damage. I mean, they can't really do much. They have to attack with the... Oh, they have to retreat no Ogre Pond. Oh, but now we can snipe them. Now, now they're in trouble. We can get this guy down. We can Arvin for Rare Candy for Seal. We drew the energy, which is actually really sick. So we can just Pidgeot here for double turbo. And we can just snipe the two leaves. I think that's... Is that correct? Is snipe double leaves here? I 100% think it is. There's, like, no reason not to. We have 100 HP left for me. Okay, cool. Just making sure that I'm knocking them out. Because we do do... We only do 100 damage with Greninja with the, uh, the double turbo being attached. But that works for me. All right. Boom. Or is it, wait, is it actually 120? Am I trolling? Is it 120? Oh, it is 120. Well, I guess because the double turbo gets discarded. I actually didn't, I didn't know that interaction. I thought we were only doing 100 with the snipe. Never mind. Okay, we are doing 120. I am trolling after all. Four prize tournament, Greninja. Let's go. What do we got? We got a lot of our ball cards that we prize. We got an Iona, which is good. We kind of just win in two more turns. I mean, honestly, if they knock out Greninja, I just have game in hand with Ursaluna. So, <laughs> we don't get Ionoed. We just have game with Ursaluna here. All right, we'll see what they do. They got the Ogre Pawn. Can they knock me out this turn is the question. I did get rid of my vacuum, which kind of hurts the odds of pulling off the combo knockout, but we'll see. Does 30 free energy on both active Pokemon? Well, we did get rid of energy on the Greninja, so that thing is not doing as much damage as it could. If they go, like, Weird Ear V, I just win with Greninja. This is almost checkmate. We'll see, though. We're, like, almost at a point where it's checkmate, I think. Let's see what they got. They have to, like, TM Devo me to stop me. TM Devo Iona would be kind of annoying, actually, but we'll see. I have Frogadier down, though, which is really good. I can just 
I don't know. I'm feeling pretty safe right now. It's looking pretty good. The double snipe knockout there at Greninja was good. They may have been playing a bit of a, you know, cheesy little donk combo with the turn one leaves and whatnot. But, I mean, once we stabilize, we set up, it feels like our deck can kind of just beat this deck. And uh, let's see if my opponent's got any tricks up their sleeve here to stop me. Because currently, they can't do much about the Greninja. Yep, they just concede. That is game. We didn't have game that turn, but we could have just sat there, spammed the attack. We had another DT. I don't think they're playing Manaphy. These, like, big, basic, turbo-y style decks, they usually don't play Manaphy, which is really good when you're playing Greninja. All right, we are going first against Blissey. Yo, we got fighting in the deck. Let's go. Um, I don't think we can get donked, right? Our turn one is okay. We have the... We have Greninja, thanks to Luminion. Assuming we don't prize Four Seal Stone, it'll be a bit easier to pull this off. But we have an okay turn one. We can get actually Pidgeot and Greninja out, assuming they also don't hit me with a... <laughs> they hit me with the Eerie. That'd be pretty bad. Okay, they got Monkey Dory. I mean, we're one-shotting Blissey. This is one thing I like about Greninja. It's just a really strong fighting Pokemon. And there's a lot of Pokemon that are in the format now that are weak to fighting that are going to be popular. Blissey, Arceus, Maridon's making a comeback. So it does feel nice to be able to just wreck them with the Greninja, but they do Iona, which is unfortunate. I had a pretty solid hand. All right, this hand's a little mediocre. We have Nest Ball, though. Now, this is actually interesting. Do I attach to my act? Do I bench another Froakie and attach, or do I Iono? Because I actually could hit double turbo and a knockout on the Blissies. So it's like, I'm like weighing my options here. Hmm. I'm gonna grab Rodom just in case. I think I'm gonna wait to attach because yeah, I could hit the I could literally Iono into Rare Kitty Greninja and double turbo and just knock out both Blissies or Chanceys and like it like almost end the game. Ooh, we didn't get there. Did not get what we were looking for. I don't think I want to attack them, so we're just gonna instant charge. Unfortunate whiff, that's fine though. It's not the end of the world. We have we have a next turn, obviously. So that is what it is. If we hit it, we hit it, that would have been sick. They did Iona away my busted hand, so that kind of hurt the odds. But yeah, we have a good hand. We can guarantee Greninja next turn, get Pidgeot out, and chill. My opponent is playing Pokemon Week to Fighting. So, like, honestly, the way this goes, even if we have to take a couple turns to set up, it's not that bad, because eventually we'll just run them over. And uh, not much I can do about the Greninja. Oh, not another Iono, bro. No, dude, I had the I had the hand. Are they going to Iono me again? That's annoying. They're going to switch. A Iono, yeah, rip. Bro does not want me to get Greninja out. Okay, hopefully this Iono gives me a better hand. Should find something, right? No, well, ooh, this hand's not great at all. Yikes, bro, don't let it in like this. But I just, I literally need to, I just need to set up here. Evolving the bench tells me they whiff double turbo. Let's go. No, never mind. Okay, I don't think they got it. Nice. Okay, thankfully they whiff. We can roll on again. Bro, I just need to find the... I just need to find things. We just got to find the Double Turbo or the Rare Candy Greninja. I mean, once we set up, I'm feeling like we're pretty chilling in this matchup. I guess we're weak to Psychic. So if they're playing Psychic Energy, that could get annoying. We'll see what they have in their deck. Seems like it's just a Dark Energy build. Okay, let's see what our top deck is here. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, F. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, we're going to get KO'd. I may as well just Buddy Poffin for a second Pidgey because we're going to get knocked out here most likely. And we'll just instant charge. We can shuffle the deck, try to get those Arvins back. There we go. We got a four seal stone. That is still not actually quite it. Yo, Iono me again. Well, actually, no. Four seal stone does get us Greninja. At least it gets us Greninja. Could be. Yeah, it could be worse. At least guarantees Greninja. Rodom can't get KO'd, right? Unless they have a Vitality Band. Only does 180. Blissey is capped, so... Yeah, it's fine. Like I said, if we can just set up here, we're chilling. Once we just set up, we're chilling, and we can just keep knocking out Blissies. And they can't one-shot me. Oh, hopefully they can. Well, they, have, they have to have, like, some secret psychic attacker. So we'll see. It's a pretty good attack here. They are able to draw a nice hand of six. I mean, if we can top deck a playable card, I would love to just do, like, an Iono or something. I, mean, I do want to set Pidgeot up, too. But yeah, I feel like once we get Greninja out, it's going to be tough to stop it, right? That's kind of the thing. Once we set up Greninja, we're chilling. We don't really care about Monkey Dory because we're just blowing these things up in one hit. So, we'll see how it goes. We do have the Greninja, finally, after three turns. All right, let's see what the top deck is. Perfect. Rare Candy Pidgeot plus Greninja. Sick. All right, we got there. Yeah, 
Star Alchemy for Pidgeot. Give me Arvin for Candy. Grab Tim Devo. Tim Devo doesn't really do anything in this matchup because we're already one hit killing them, most likely. So get this out. We can quick search for Greninja. Grab the Illustrator Rare because why not, bro? It's a nice looking Greninja. I have a few options. I could knock out the Monkey Dories, which doesn't really feel like I need. Eh. Nah, I'm not doing that. I think I'm just going to knock out the active. Remove three energy off the board. Seems good. So you can see why this matchup is nice. Once you set up Greninja, you just shred through them. We can grab another playable card. Low-key, I don't even know what I really want here. Grab, grab another Arvin for next turn so I can, like, candy Greninja. I need to get another Greninja out at least, so might as well grab Arvin, sure. So the thing about this deck is when you have access to Greninja Pidgeot every turn, you're basically... Phew, double candy. You basically just have everything you need every time, right? Because you're just always drawing cards. If your opponent is not disrupting your hand, you are constantly building up combo pieces with Greninjas and Pidgeots. And this is what I like about this deck so far. And my opponent just kind of has a bad matchup into me. They have to have something that can ta attack me. Currently, they don't got much going on, though. Boss. My Rodom. Okay. I mean, we have the energy in hand, right? We just retreat. They don't have a knockout. I guess they could set a Monkey Dory math, but... It doesn't look like my opponent's got any way to do this Monkey Dory stuff. I mean, the game's... Yeah, it's not looking good. This is... If you're, if you're ever going to play Greninja, part of what is appealing to the deck is that, yeah, you should have a good matchup into these fighting weak decks that might be popular, like Blissey and Arceus and Maridon. Even Iron Hands decks, right? You're just having a, a fighting Pokemon that can one-shot for one energy and get you another card for next turn is kind of cracked against these decks. Like, my opponent... This is really struggling. I don't even think they can do much next turn, to be honest with you. Like, we knock them out. How? What, what's what's their response going to be? They have no energy in play, so they can't attack me. So, it's not looking good. This guy's Frogadier, right? Okay, so they can't even, like, TM Devo me. Yeah, it's just not looking good for my opponent right now. We can just retreat. We just have game next turn, too, no matter what, because we have the snipe attack. Just do this for... Yeah, they just concede. I was like, they're probably going to scoop here. I was probably just going to get Palpat there, to be honest. Just Palpat some stuff back. I could have actually Turroed Rodom off the board. That's why I would, I, I would have Turroed. Yeah, bad match for my opponent. If we get to set up our Greninjas, we're chilling. I mean, it took us a while to get set up because my opponent kept Ionoing my good hands away. But thanks to Rodom, we got there and, yeah, they can't really stop the Greninja. All right, up against Charizard. Here we go. Now, hopefully they're not playing Eerie because we actually do have a pretty solid hand. Getting Eerie'd would suck. Do we have our TM Devo in the deck? We do. Honestly, yo, if all goes well, we might just have a turn two snipe here if my opponent doesn't get mana fee, or they prize it. Or, I mean, I highly doubt it, but maybe we can pull off a cologne combo. Probably not going to happen, though. Our hand is pretty solid, though. We do have the Iono and whatnot. We have Arvin. We have basically everything we need to pop off my opponent, which is nice. So we'll see what happens. They have Buddy Buddy Poffin. Let's see if they get a mana fee down. No, there's no mana fee. They might have another Buddy Poffin, though, or maybe they don't. Maybe not. We shall see. But yeah, this matchup probably is going to be a bit of a TM Devo fest on both sides, in all honesty. Our snipe attack is also pretty valuable. Okay, they have Nest Ball. Is it going to get a Mana Fee? No Mana Fee. They do get a second Charmander. It's fine. Could still snipe the Pidgey and stuff. And we don't have to snipe, obviously. I mean, we should probably set up our board. It's probably a little better than just going Ooga Booga. Now they're bossing me anyways. Okay. It's a little annoying. Well, it's fine. We have a candy Pidgeot, so it's all good. Okay, what's our top deck looking like? A third rare candy is a little overkill. Hmm, okay. Want the bench fish. Nah, it could be a bit of an issue. They already burned a boss. We'll see they're playing Prime Catcher. Okay, bench Luminion. Grab a card I don't care about, which is honestly not much, so. Irida? I don't know. I just need a card to thin my hand down with. Getting rid of two supporters feels pretty bad, but I need to set up. They could TM Devo. I was thinking about getting rid of a candy, but if they have a TM Devo, it gets kind of scuffed, so. Just gotta do what you gotta do. Still have the four seal. So we can attack at least. We have the snipe attack. Do I just go for the snipe attack? I mean, yeah, it's probably the play, right? My opponent did not get mana fee, so. Going for the snipe here definitely feels correct. Just knock out Pidgey Charmander. 
cripple their setup a little bit. And we have TM Devo for later on in the game. Feels pretty good. I'll take that. If they only had the two manners, Kao and both would have been sick. But yeah, we just knock out Charmander, Pidgey. Just delete their board a little bit. And then we just kind of want to play into Team Devo, I think. That's the plan. Or we could just continuously snipe my opponent's stuff if they don't bench Manaphy. So let's take out those two. Take our two prizes. The middle feels pretty good. Told you. Greninja unfair. Stand. Holy. This hand is kind of cracked, actually. I probably shouldn't overkill my rare candies, though. Just because of Team Devo. But... I'm feeling pretty good. That was a pretty good turn. We got the knockout on the Pidgey. They don't have Pidgey out this turn. They have Rare Candy Charizard, but we will see where else they can go from there. Yeah, the pressure with Greninja feels pretty good. Like, if they literally only had the double Charmander, bro, the game would have been over, probably. The game would have been over. All right, let's see what they can do here. So we just need to set up our board a little bit more, try to play around Team Devo. We have the option to kill their Rodom, actually. Yeah, Kion Rodon doesn't seem bad either. I don't hate that. Knockout Rodon. I could Turo Fish off the board, which is an option. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Curious. I do need some more Greninjas, though. That's the other thing. You have to be mindful of Team Devo. Okay, on the Rodon probably isn't the play. I got another Buddy Buddy Poff in here. I could... I mean, if they don't bench Manaphy, we could just snipe the Pidgeys again, which I'm kind of down to do. If my opponent knocks something out this turn, I can unfair stamp them, plus snipe their bench. No Manaphy! Do they prize their Manaphy, or are they actually just trolling? It's got to be one of the two. So no, unless it's in their hand. They just didn't want to bench it. They probably didn't expect me to draw the stones last turn, but sometimes the stones do get drawn. The one thing I do want to do is get Frogadier, right, to play around TM Devo. But I don't know if they're playing TM Devo. A lot of the Zard lists at the end of the format were carding Devo. I don't know if they have Devo or not. Let's see what they are able to do. They're definitely going to attack here. I got no doubt in my mind they're going to swing in a Greninja, but we could just snipe two guys again. If I really wanted to, take out their Pidgey, take out another Charmander. We have Unfair Stamp. We have options. Honestly, I could snipe the Charizard in the active and then hit the Pidgey on the bench, knock it out. Hmm, I don't know. We have, we have, there's so many plays we can make. It's kind of, in, it's kind of a little over, not overwhelming, but it's like a little like, bro, I don't know what the heck to do. What's the best play? What's the best play to make? Yeah, the best play is probably going to be whatever my opponent does. And have to accordingly figure out what the best play is off of what my opponent's turn looks like here. But, so many plays. So little time. Like, I don't know if they're playing Max Bell. That's another problem. If, I, if they're playing Max Bell, I kind of don't want to give them access to kill my Pidgey out. It might be better to attack in the active. Or, the, honestly, sniping them isn't bad either. But, the problem is, 270 damage with Max Bell is, unfortunately, 310, which is enough to kill Greninja in one hit. Which is kind of annoying. I don't think we ever kill Rodom. Honestly, sniping the bench does leave me with the option to kill Rodom later on in the game, which is pretty good too, right? So there's that. All right, what's our top deck looking like? Ooh, the Lost City, which, eh, low-key, don't need right now. Hitting the active, unfair stamp, Rare Candy Greninja next turn seems fine with me. I, mean, I don't want them to get a Pidgeot out, though. I feel like we have to go for the snipe here, right? Knock out the Pidgey, hit this, and then we can TMD Void later on. But I also just set up another Greninja, but they could also boss it. They could Iono this hand away. Iono TMD Void could get a little sketchy, actually. We have Arvin for unfair stamp. It's kind of what I'm thinking next turn. We unfair stamp them. Yeah, I'll, I'll knock out their Pidgey. I mean, I don't want them to get a Pidgey out, right? I guess we'll put that down. If I rare candy now, they're just going to TM Devo me, so this is definitely the play. Do this. Just don't let them get a Pidgeot out. No Pidgeot for you, good sir. They could now max spell kill my Pidgeot, which is sketchy. But then we can still grab some cards out of the deck with Greninja. And we have unfair stand. We, have a, we actually have an insane hand, to be honest with you. I'm kind of hoping they just knock up active. They could Eerie me, which could get annoying. Eerie would be a little frustrating here. I don't know if they play it, though. Plus, how are they going to find it without Pidgeot? You know, it's a bit harder to do. Because they need to set another Charizard also. That's their thing, too. That's our last DT, though. We have no double turbos left, so we have to be a little mindful of that. Could get Rock Sand. A lot of things could go wrong. So, I don't know. Count the Pidgey there, I think, was correct, because I don't want them to get Pidgeot out. But we'll see what happens. We shall see. But hitting this for 170 is not bad either, though, because we can two-shot it. I feel like the angle is a TMD vote play at some point, though, in the game. Ooh, collapsed. Pidgeot gets discarded. 
The Clap Stadium's good. If that Rodom sticks on the board, it's an easy boss target at the end of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see what they do. We will see. I don't know, maybe saving, maybe trying to go 2-2-2 two, two, two is just better. So maybe hitting the active is just better there. But like I said, I'm not, I don't want them to get a Pidgeot out. Especially if my plan is to unfair stamp them. Hmm. Yeah, if my plan was to unfair stamp, don't want them to get a Pidgeot out. So I think it was still correct to kill Pidgey. It just kind of sucks we had to, maybe it was better to kill Pidgey with boss. But getting damage on this thing is relevant too, because right, I want to TM Devo it. I feel like it was a fine play. Loki, we just TM Devo them next turn. Unfair stamp team Devo. I don't mind that either. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. They just knock out my active. That's fine with me. I mean, they had the Charmeleon though. Could kill Charmeleon here. I don't know. What's our what's our draw? The Buddy Poffin. Play that. Do some thinning. Okay. Yeah, we have the unfair stamp. Play it. Bye bye hand. Nice. That was a pretty good unfair. That was a pretty good unfair stamp. Um, got energy. See now they have maximum belt. This is where things get sketchy, right? So we TM Devo them now. Then we just boss roll on for game next turn. That seems like it's the play. I can't get Frogadier down this turn, which kind of sucks. If I had Countercatcher live, I'd love the kill Charmeleon. I mean, they have a two-card hand. If they if they just happen to have it like that, I think it is what it is. I mean, if they kill my Greninja, it's not that bad. No, nah, we'll just... I'm going for the Team Devo. I think it's correct to Team Devo here. It's probably better to Team Devo the one prize in the active. So I'm actually trolling by going Greninja. So that was actually a misplay. Compel Pad... Uh, I almost pretty good. All right, Devo. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it might have been better there. I should have TM Devoed with a one prizer, but then at the same time, if they don't kill my Greninja, it's fine. They can't currently knock Greninja unless they have Defiance Band. We'll see. If they hand to me a Defiance Band, it's bad. Yeah, we should have went to a one prizer, not Greninja. We'll see what they do. I don't like they the unfair stamp and prey. Pretty much is the plan. Just have game next turn on the road on. I don't know if I navigated this matchup too quickly. I haven't tested Greninja yet. Like, I, I haven't figured out the Zara matchup quite yet. Um, but we're getting there. All right, what do they got? Do they have anything to knock me out? Do they play Max Belt or Defiance Band? They definitely play one of the two. Question is, can they find it? I put them into two cards. What are the odds they hit it like that? All right, that's game. Instant charge, and that's a dub. Quick search. For boss. Where are you at? There you are. And that's GG's. All right. Good game. Also, it was looking good because we just had... We could have went Iono hit active. If for whatever reason we didn't have a game here, we could have went Iono hit active. Two-shot it. Would have been good too. GG's. Yeah, that was sick. All right. Charizard matchup isn't bad. I mean, they didn't mention Manaphy, which was kind of good for us. But I don't know. We'll figure it out how the matchup plays out. TM Devo definitely plays a big role in this matchup, though, for sure. I don't know if this matchup is very winnable without TM Devo. Kind of want to put a Bibberl in the deck. Um, Bibberl wouldn't be bad for the Zard matchup either. I don't know. We'll figure out how the Zard matchup plays out as the format evolves. Because it's still early in the game, right? Early in the format. I haven't quite figured out the lines yet. But I think it was correct what I did there. Like, killing their Pidgeys was definitely optimal. Especially when we were sitting on unfair stand for so long. We're actually close to 13k subs, or 13k followers on YouTube, or Twitch, sorry. Um, yikes, the attach pass type of situation. Not like this. Before we get eerie'd. Well, that was the other thing I didn't like about the Temporal Forces format. I thought, dude, are we against another Gardevoir deck? No way. Not like that. Actually, we do play TM Devo. Maybe the matchup's not as bad as I thought. You'll appreciate the fall there, uh, duty Park. Don't tell me we play it. we're playing against another Gardevoir deck, bro. Dude, did it actually dude, did it actually put me against another Guardy deck? Okay, good. I saw a psychic energy, I'm like, dude, not again. I have not actually played against Dragapult yet with Greninja. We're about to find out if it's a good matchup. It's really annoying they open up with Manaphy though. That that's kind of awkward for us. It's not fantastic. That's like optimal turn one starter. 
Tusk Mills BDIF, maybe. Do you go live on uh, any platform? I want to see more live gameplays. I go live on Twitch and YouTube mostly. I don't stream as often as I used to. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get back into the swing of things with the uh, with the content grind with the uh, Twilight Masquerade. Uh, is it better to Irid or Arvin? It's actually technically better to Irid, right? I'm going Nest Ball. Rodom's in there, right? I'm not trolling. No, wait, 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 wait. Is Rodom prized? Okay, good. Nice. 70 HP Froki, baby. You gotta play it. Do we have a Rain Splash here? I'm like actually trying to think. It doesn't really matter, right? No, 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 no. Who cares? Grab the Tom. Instant Barge. All right, let's see what we got. That's kind of mid, not going to lie. Greninja EX with Boomerang Energy is bonkers. Could be good. Oh, the only problem, though, with that drummer is, like, how you, you need to get the Boomerang. You need to get two Boomerang Energy on the Greninja, but it could be kind of cool. What deck should I get? Uh, whatever, whatever deck you want to play. Why not stream on TikTok? I don't really, I don't know. I'm not really into the TikTok, TikTok stuff. In my, I'm not really a big TikToker. I go on TikTok every day, but I'm, I don't really, I don't really care to post content on TikTok. It's not a good hand. That last hand had too many supporters in it. It's actually really bad. If we don't set up, we're just gonna get eaten alive. That's not good. First game of the new format. I was using Tuscan One. You played against Dragapult. I would imagine the Dragapult matchups like probably not terrible for uh, Tusk. Uh, Frostbust Greninja looks cool. I haven't tried it yet, though. Blix Blissey's gonna be meta-defining. Uh, we'll see about that. Have you, uh, read the cards, basically, for Ninja? No, I know what it does. I know what it does, because, like, reattaches itself to it. But, like, you have to... You have to attach three times to the Greninja, though. That's my issue. It's less efficient than, like, the, uh, other methods of using, um... It's, like, less efficient than using double turbo. But, like, in theory, it could be good. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Jarmer. That's kind of tragic. We just have the instant charge because that Iono griefed me out of a Greninja. What about Frost Last Dragapult EX? Eh, maybe that could work. I mean, yeah, Dragapult, Dragapult has a ton of different ways it can be played. TikTok has issues. I don't know. I mean, TikTok, TikTok is a good platform to stream on because the algorithm is really good over there for, like, content. But it's a good way to grow your brand. I don't really care about TikTok. I don't really care about growing my brand on TikTok. The likes of Putin Run, Yo Kim, what's up? First time watching you live broadcast. Thank you for always introducing great decks. I will support you from South Korea. Yo, appreciate that. Welcome out, welcome out. Yeah, Unfair Stamp and Tusk actually could be decent. Why you lose Hero's Cape, though, which that's a bit of a weird trade off. Pow Pad, double Iono. They're going to Iono me again, bro. Does not want me to keep my hand, dude. Hopefully they whiff the attack. Um, this hand's okay, I guess. It's, like, passable. They whiff. Let's go. This game is terrible. This is not going very well. Uh, we are very much... We can get Pidgeot out. I guess we have to. I mean, this isn't actually that bad. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of want to try to pull off a Wombo combo with... I want to try to pull off a Wombo combo with Pidgeot. I think we just have to play it slow for another turn. That feels kind of bad, but it's what it is. Yo, pushing the sky with the tier 1 sub two months? Yo, appreciate that. Thank you for the sub. Now I regret benching this other Pidgey. I might have trolled by doing that. We can sit here and set up the Ninja play next turn, though. Actually, it's not bad. So we can quick search for... We forced him to Iono me again. I'm actually kind of down. Mm, I need to grab, like, a passive card. But yeah, we can Greninja next turn. We'll grab DT. I could attach that to the Frogadier. I mean, they're probably going to get boss energy attack, though. Okay, I think we just instant charge. Okay, we got rare candy. It's not fantastic. We have Countercatcher DTE. I am one piece short of being able to pull off the canceling clones. I want to knock out their Draclogs here. 
I think that'd be ideal. We just knock out the drag close with the Greninja, cripple their setup a little bit. Yeah, we have unfair stamp. I don't know if we'll be able to pull off the unfair. Now nah, we're getting Ionoed again. Maybe I should have put the DT on. Yeah, I should have put DT in play, to be honest, because they're just going to... They were going to Iono me. But I don't want to get bossed. That's the issue. Oh, they're not Ionoing me. Okay, okay. If we can... Literally, if we top deck any good combo piece to the pull off the Greninja play, we're actually chilling. Unfair stamp Arbok. I definitely want to try that one day. Both over Pom. We'll play that later, Billy. Definitely playing that later. Galissapod seems fun to mess with. What do you think about Galissapod? I don't know about... Like, Galissapod, I don't know. It never never was good when it came out. Is it going to be good now? Oh, they hit another candy, bro. No. Yeah, it's actually really bad they hit the candy. And we do have TM Devo, which could be a decent strat. They're drawing the nuts, though. Not like this. Boss top deck? I don't even know if I want to go for the play now. Because, like... I mean, we could KO the Jackalook and Zatu, which, like, isn't bad. But they have two Dragapults powered up, which feels really bad. Yo, kill my Pidgey. Actually, that's fine. I actually don't mind if they knock out Pidgey. Might have three to four Ionos. Yeah, it's just annoying that my opponent just hit him every time. The one thing I'm scared of is TM Devo. Yeah, imagine how their Pidgey kind of griefed me. No! Alright. I mean, we don't have to go for the clone play this turn, like I said. We can wait to do it. Let's probably get a Greninja here. And then we can... I mean, I guess we'll attach that and then we'll just Iono. Well, I do have Turo. Turo's pretty good, but... I want to get another... They could have a boss here. I want to get another Greninja. We'll just Iono them. We could get... Un I do... Okay. Maybe we try to set for like an unfair stamp combo. They're probably going to Iono me again though, to be honest. Do I evolve the Frogadier? Uh, I can't really bench my other Froakie. I'll just Shinobi Blade the active, I guess. Let's probably get Counter Catcher with this. Yeah, let's grab a Counter Catcher. The other Froki more optimal? Not against Dragapult. <laughs> that Froki, the reason why we're playing 70 HP Froki is literally because of this thing. Are you going to use the list uh, from the 12 video? Maybe. Charizard will fall off with the Teacup? No, that's not, that's not why Charizard falls off. Char I mean, there are good grass type. Like, Ogre Pond definitely is also pretty bad for Charizard, but not really. I don't know. I am Charizard's biggest hater, and I still think that Charizard is actually not even that bad of a deck still. I think people are I think people are not giving it as enough credit. It definitely does get worse with Dragapult. Like, it's no longer best deck in format, but it's still probably going to be, like, tier 1 or 2, at least. Jirachi? Jirachi does not stop Dragapult, though. The only thing that stops Dragapult is Rabska. Yeah, the only thing that stops Dragapult is Rabska. Yeah, Charizard... Char or Charizard... Yeah, Jira Jirachi does not stop Dragapult. If it did, then Dragapult would not be BDIF, probably. Yeah, I think we just go Punch Punch Devo. We just... I remember definitely TM Devo in them. It's a TM Devo angle for sure. Yo, do we ever put a Mist Energy in this deck so we can, like, protect our Pidgeot? I actually don't hate that. Would not mind a Mist Energy going in here. Yeah, we're gonna hit the Dragapults three times and then Devo. Pro no, my Rodom. That's annoying. My opponent is actually... Well, we can just Iono again. They're actually slaughtering me here. Rapska... Does Rapska protect against anything? Rapska protects against mana... Yeah, it does protect against bench sniping and spread damage. Yeah, it does both. It's literally Jirachi mana feet put together, but it actually gives you more bulk with Jirachi. They actually gave me the other Dragapult. That's fine. All right, we're just going to go Iono to two, hit the active, and see where it takes us. My mom disowned me after she found out I played the Snorlax stall deck. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, they are not setting up TM Devo, which is a little weird. They're not. They're, they're definitely not setting up a TM Devo play. Yo, wait, do we ever go... Do we ever go unfair stamp? Do we ever... Yo, do we ever go for the... Oh, this thing's a terrestrial, isn't it? That's actually cringe. Oh my god. I was gonna go counter catcher, unfair stamp, cologne, snipe two dragapults, 
put him to two cards, then Devo them the next turn. This thing is a terrestrial, so I actually can't even hit it. Bruh, that's a that's a big bro moment right there. That's a big bro moment. That's actually crazy. That's kind of that's kind of cheesy. Yo, Jason with the tier one sub. Yo, what's good? Yeah, what's up, Jason? How we doing, bro? We're trying out some new decks. We're playing Greninja right now. If I have four candies, that's a skill diff, bro. Yo, at least you're not gonna get eerie, right? Look on the bright side, dude. At least you're not getting eerie. Actually, I kind of no. We can pal pad here. Yeah, let's we'll pitch off a pal pad, or we draw into it. That works too. Put back two Ionos. Hmm. I kind of honestly, I wouldn't mind playing a Mist Energy in here. It would help this matchup a little bit. What's the best card to grab? Because we're just gonna go hit hit, but then we can go Iono TM Devo. Hmm. I feel like we're still going to lose, though. Dude, if this thing didn't have a Terrestrial, I could have went for that combo play. That actually sucks, bro. That's actually crazy. Yeah, why does Dragapult have to have a Terrestrial? Whose man's designed this? Oh, I should have got Turo. I'm actually trolling. I should have got a Turo there. No, nah, we just Turo. Well, we don't... Actually, I'm trolling. We'll just Turo. We'll grab Turo here. I'm actually trolling. I forgot Greninja can still get a card. Well, yo, Gaming with Gavin, what's up? Cologne K, Manaphy. I, the only way to win this game, I think, is we have to knock out all their Dragapults at once. I don't know if we can go for the... The Cologne play was only viable when they had one Dragapult in play. But it's not going to work now. Trying to find the best Ninja list? Yeah, Ninja Ninja could be cracked. They're just going to Devo me next turn. I mean... No, we're going to Turo. We're going to go Turo. We'll see. We have the Turo. Yeah, Turo. Yo, appreciate the follow there, FPS Crow. Then we have to quick search for counter catcher. Bro, I can't even bench. Wait, no, I can't bench Froakie. I'm trolling. I'm going to hit this gang. I mean, they're going to see the TMD Devo play coming, which is annoying, but I have to do this. Do I bench Froki? They can't win if I bench Froki. Yeah. Am I trolling by benching this? I don't think it matters, right? Am I trolling by benching Froki chat? I'm trying to think, is it worth it? Because like I, I might want to retreat to my another Greninja next turn after they hit me. I'm just gonna kill it. Well, thing has no. Nah, it's kind of cringe. Uh, then they just TM Devo this for game. Yeah, I don't think we can bench Froakie. Nah, we can't. Because they're just going to kill Froakie and then they can like TM Devo for game. Even after I TM Devo them first. Alright, does it matter what I grab here? Lost City seems pretty good. On the off chance they don't, I don't know. Alright, we have... We have the ability to... I mean, this probably won't matter. Like, oh, they could just boss for game two. Oh, yeah. They're just going to boss... They can just boss Pidgeot for game anyways. That's cringe. The Rodon knockout was kind of bad. If they didn't kill Rodon, maybe this was a bit more winnable. The fact that they just took an easy two-prize KO is kind of bad. Yikes. Yeah, they just have boss. They win the game. Maybe I should have... I, well, okay, they don't have it. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, chill. Saying there's a chance? Okay. See, now we're chilling. All right, we're cooking now. Do I ever Iono here? I mean, they, they can go to the Tassigiri. I don't think it matters. Nah, I don't think Iono. They haven't, they haven't done much. Actually, next turn we can go. Wait, is there other double turbo in the deck? Okay, next turn we'll go for. We can knock out their Dreepies so they try to reset back up. If they can knock me out with. If they have like a random psychic attack or like an Alakazam. We do get farmed, so I have to just be mindful of that too. If they have, like, a random Alakazam, we do get farmed here. Yo, Rujon with the Prime sub. Let me simp. Yo, appreciate that, Rujon. Thank you, thank you. And they might just win with a TM Devo themselves, though. Yikes. That's pretty bad. Yeah, appreciate that, Rujon. Thank you. Boss Atu. Ooh, you're right. I should have. Yeah, you're right. I should have. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. You're right. You're right. That actually might that might cost me the game. You're right. You're right. I should have I should have brought in this Atu. Yikes. Yeah, that's probably GG's. They're just going to TM Devo for a game. 
I'm definitely down to play Reggie's. Not tonight, but like at some point. I do want to try that. I do have that on my radar of stuff I wouldn't mind playing. Yeah, they have Alakazam. Rip. No. This is our, that was our only line, right? Was to do that and then we just cologne stuff. Damn. Well, maybe they don't have the energy, though. They're not Zatooine. They're down six energy. They might struggle to find... Oh, that's not good. That's GG's. That should be GG's. They're definitely going to find what they're looking for off this. Every time guaranteed. They just draw a single energy. Yeah, we're cooked. They just have the Zatune to an energy, and they win with Alakazam. No, see, I told you. They drew it every time. Yeah, I should have bossed. I 100% should have brought in Zatune. That was a huge misplay for sure. That was definitely a big misplay on my end. They could whiff energy, though. And if they whiff energy, we still probably lose because we're cooked anyways. But we can go into a fresh Greninja. Okay, we're actually still in the game if they whiff. I think they whiffed. Yo, did they whiff? They had double rod. Wow. They drew that off the Zatu. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Reggie with Legacy Energy sounds kind of sick. Yeah. My favorite Dragapult variant? I have not played it yet, so I don't really have an answer to that. That's annoying. Well, I, was, I wasn't going to snipe, though. I was always going to... I think we always go Iono, Countercatcher, Kill Alakazam. 100% is the play. If we had our other Turo in the deck, we'd actually be chilling. I mean, the play is to go Iono, Countercatcher, Kill Alakazam. And then we have to pull off a Cologne combo. Okay, I think actually we might still win this game. That was kind of huge my opponent didn't win. I thought they had it for sure, bro. All right, we're lucky. Okay, quick search. Double counter catcher is insane. Low key though, I kind of wish that unfair stamp was a was a prime catcher, but whatever. Kind of wish that was a prime catcher, but it is what it is. I mean, they would if they have Team Devo too, though. That's here. They just have game and they have Team Devo. I can't really stop that. If they have that, they have that. I have to Iono them just in case. Just in case. Okay. And I can win next turn, right? Yeah. It's theoretically possible to win next turn. All right, here we go. If they have it, they have it. If they don't have it, we might have game here on the on the mana fee because we have to go. Oh no, we we still we're still one piece short. Actually, we'll hold on. I'll we'll take boss. No, I should have taken DT because I can get fish. Huh. Yeah, maybe I should have taken DT because I have a higher chance of getting fish anyways. Okay, we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Will Masquerade be legal at NAIC? It will indeed. It will indeed be legal. Fix the coin flip error? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there is a fix, to be honest. I think it's just you just have to get lucky and hope that your game isn't broken. Yeah, Reggie's requiring seven. And we'll see if Reggie's can beat Dragapult, but I, I'm definitely excited to give Reggie's another try. No way they get rare candy. Po Dude, no way. Did they actually just hit it? No, okay. Iono, that's scary. We could still draw into the combo. Nope. Damn it. Ugh. Well, I can just boss Dra Dreepy, though, right? We can just boss kill the Dreepy. It's probably better to KO Tassigiri, though, right? Okay, let's see we top deck here. Damn. If I... Oh, dude, if I drew fish, we could have had it. I can vacuum. We just boss KO this, I guess. I can't win this turn, so... Damn. Yeah, I'll boss KO Dreepy. Killing the fish isn't bad, though, either. Am I throwing by not KOing Tassigiri? Should, should we just knock this out? Or should we kill the Dreepy? No, we always kill Dreepy, right? Yeah. There's no reason not to kill Dreepy. Okay. We have game next turn, then. Let's go! Sick comeback. That's our only way to win, chat, bro. We gotta go for the triple Devo knockout. Let's go, chat. Let's go. And before we end up the video, I did want to show off some stuff here real quick. Um, because I do have some packs to open up. But I also want to show off the battle pass. Battle pass is pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you get a Dragapult deck when you get the premium battle pass. Dragapult, obviously, is looking to be one of the best decks in the format going into Twilight Mask Great. So it's really good that you get to kind of build your own Dragapult deck because it does give you some Dragapults. You literally rank up one more tier. You get a third Dragapult tier, um, which is pretty cool. The full art Dragapult. I don't even know what you would call this. Full art white Dragapult. I have no idea what you would call it. But 
Uh, I'm excited to open up some packs here real quick. So let's collect all and see what we're about to get. We got a Prime Catcher, Dragapult. I already have most of those, but if you're new to the game, then you know it is pretty good. You do get a Prime Catcher for free. Who doesn't like Prime? Uh, we got that, and then we got a Prime Catcher. I already have one, but we do get some packs to open up. Let's see what we can pull. We got a Reverse Tassigiri, Palos, and oh, look at that, another Dragapult. I already have a bunch of them because I've already opened up a ton of codes and packs or whatever. Um, but, you know, the extra Dragapult is good for credit. Reverse Brute Bonnet and a Walking Wake. So there you go. A lot of Dragapult action in that opening there, which is kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, I mean, look at the rewards. Like, you're getting Legacy Energy. don't think I have one yet. We get some Ogre Ponds. This gives you a Gold Luminous Energy. Uh, I'm not sure what deck even plays Luminous right now. Maybe if you want to build an Ogre Pond Toolbox deck. Just for completing the Battle Pass, I mean, you do get a ton of stuff here. Um, including yet another Dragapult. So if you're looking to build a BDIF, hey, the, the Battle Pass has got your back, I guess. But there you go, folks. That is the Greninja Pidgeot deck in action. Definitely a fan of this combo. I mean, there's so many different combo pieces that this deck has going forward. I honestly would consider it the ultimate combo deck in the format right now with all the plays you can make. We saw some pretty interesting matches in this video. We're showing off the power of the amount of different options you have in a, in a turn when you have access to both Pidgeot and Greninja. I do want to try out other Greninja decks. Don't worry, this is going to be the last video on Greninja because there are some other Greninja decks I do want to try out here on the channel. But hope you enjoyed the video on Greninja Pidgeot. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Of course, I'm going to be having daily Twilight Masquerade content, so make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And uh, leave a like if you want to enjoy the video. Like I said, we got a like goal on today's video. And uh, if you're going to get any Twilight Masquerade codes, get them over at Card Cavern and use code LDF and check out my second channel down below for some extra content too. Uh, and all that good stuff, and I cannot wait to keep pumping out content, and I'll catch you on another video. Uh, bye bye